The gut's brain really is known as the enteric nervous system and we have areas of our brain that's the 11th cranial nerve that raises your eyebrows to the 5th cranial nerve which is involved swallowing and cardiovascular reflex. Autism really can have occurred to boys much more than girls because a boy's brain is not evolved completely until he's 18 months of age and his brain's continuously developing during that time after birth. Pyramidal cells continue to grow and develop once the child is born and that doesn't really stop until around 18 months old. So during this period of time in utero and up to 18 months his brain is not really protected by the blood-brain barrier and the areas of the brain which are affected are all the mirror motor neurons for instance which in autism cause you if you've got your mirror motor neurons not present you other than can learn from other people's behavior all sorts of various conditions affect our eyesight and things and our ability to process facial expression and this sort of thing and it's very interesting that people who have Asperger's syndrome tend to have sort of high functioning as far as serial processing skills are concerned but Asperger's syndrome people they have a short circuit when it comes to being able to process emotion and get a sense of feeling of others emotions so they can say things which can really like somebody can think well how could that person say that aren't they aware of what the other person could be feeling you know you've got people and they're really not so aware of or even ever care much about how, the, how other people feel because they're not getting the feedback necessarily from that and there's all varying degrees of Asperger's syndrome which these people can be very highly functioning but in the department of emotional kinesthetic feeling processing they tend to fall quite short but so the guts brain known as the enteric nervous system regulates these nerves and is, has to be protected by the blood-brain barrier but if you're having wheat, grains, beans and all this dead food, milk product, casein and lactose, all this stuff which is not being able to broken down, all the this runaway sugars which is in grain, which is in bread and corn and rice, cane sugar, uh, these are the same as cane sugar. So those runaway sugars cause a clumping of blood and it causes the blood-brain barrier not to protect the brain and strange undigestible proteins get up into the brain and they affect various areas of our brain creating all kinds of sort of conditions somewhat which a lot of these conditions can be relatively healed up 